Good morning, it's Malcolm here. This is a quick video to show you how to set up Gary's um, simple lay tips with the Grey Horse Bot. First of all, the Grey Horse Bot must be in manual select mode. If you um, haven't got it in that mode, the way to do it is just go to Action, Bot Configuration, and then you'll see here you've got at Manual and Auto. It should be in Manual. If it's in Auto, you need to change it to Manual and click Accept, and it will rechange the bot to Manual. OK, the next thing we need to do is go to the session. There's a few things we need to set up, sorry, to options. There's a couple of things we need to set up here. OK, first of all, if you're going to try live trading, please set your stop at profit and stop at loss. Well, certainly your stop at loss. Obviously, you don't have to worry too much about profit. But um, you definitely need to st set your stop at loss. These um, selections go to 16 maximum, um, and so that can be quite high priced. Or, or quite high losses if you're not careful. I would suggest you paper trade to see what happens over the next couple of weeks while you look at the selections. But if you do decide to go live, please put a stop loss in. Um, Gary doesn't often have losing days, but he he does have them, um, so you need to be careful with that. Okay, um, the odds trigger range is 5.80 to 16. Um, as you say, you see, I've set liability at one pound here. Um, the Grail spot can obviously bet under. And the two pound bet fair minimum, so um, you can do that there. You need to change your session settings. The um, start betting is 90 seconds before the race, and you need to activate stop betting um, 30 seconds before the race. So 90 and 30. You need to set the non runners tab, but you don't need to worry about actual non runners, just set this from 6 to 30. The uh, minimum number of runners must be 6 which will do that and that's basically the settings you don't need to worry about the maximum API rate um, 5 should be sufficient you may want to speed up but it wouldn't really matter anyway but 5, five would be t fine um, and that's it as far as the session is concerned so don't forget to set your stop loss session 90 and 30 you might want to widen, in fact I wouldn't widen odds in this case we don't want it to take any higher than 16 so we'll leave that at zero we, we, we may miss some bets but that's life basically um, and your non-runners make sure that's set 6 to 30 ok so then just click OK to save your settings now if we go to action session server tips that you'll see a um, link very much like this one on the um, the page where you'll see in this video copy that into there so the whole um, the whole link all the way from HTTP all the way to ID2 in this case make sure this is on CSV and make sure you've got use my option settings selected uh, you won't get any bets unless you select that so make sure you've got that selected and that's all you have to do is click OK and the minute you click start the bot, the um, tips will download as long as it's after um, Gary has put them on. Now that's normally about 10:30 in the morning. If not, just click start and leave the bot running, and it, it will load them in as soon as they're available. And that's all you have to do. So we we'll, we'll just click start, and we we'll see the tips come down. Just like that. And now we have all the selections for the day, and the bot will automatically monitor them. Thanks for watching. Bye.